So we have this thing called the staircase of a paycheck. And the reason it's called the staircase of a paycheck is because if you can kind of pretend like this table is a staircase, each step that somebody walks down, there's another type of tax that deducts the amount of money you earned. So for example, um, if this is one of Mr. P's pizza's employees, and uh, let's say his paycheck is $10,000, that's his gross pay. Well, as he takes a step on a new stair, the government's gonna take out more money for individual taxes. So he takes a step down, and he's gonna have to pay federal income tax. He takes a step down, he has to pay Social Security tax, then Medicare tax, then Illinois income tax, then things he chooses to take out of his paycheck. We'll talk more about that here in a second. So it's called the staircase because you start with 10,000, but as you move down the stair, certain money gets removed from your paycheck, leaving you with less than what you began with. Um, these numbers here are fictitious, they're not really real, but just to show you the example, you start with 10 and, and here you ended with 7,500. That's why it's called the staircase of a paycheck because every time you take a step down, more money is removed from your paycheck. Um, some other things with gross versus net pay. Here's a good picture that really represents the difference. You see a large uh, uh, jovial individual on the left called Mr. Gross and you see a, uh, a tall skinny individual on the right called Mr. Net. Again, just another picture that shows you gross pay, also known as gross earnings, will always be larger than net pay or net earnings. Why? Again, back to the staircase. Because as you move down, different taxes are taken out of your paycheck, leaving you with less. So, gross pay large, net pay smaller. Gross pay will 100% of the time always be larger than net pay, because taxes haven't been removed. Um, a little trick to, to help you remember the difference between gross and, and net pay. Um, G comes before N in the alphabet. G comes before N. Therefore, gross, which starts with a G, is before taxes, and net, which starts with an N, is the money you get to keep after taxes. Um, a lot of times you'll hear people talk about their take-home pay. Uh, when they refer to their take-home pay, they're telling people how much they make after taxes are taken out. So that's also known as net pay is take-home pay. What you get to keep, what you actually get to keep after the government takes out their taxes, net pay. Um, another way, the easiest way to be honest to remember it is how I always taught myself is gross. Here's a disgusting picture, right? Uh, not many people are going to find this uh, attractive. It's a gross picture. We're grossed out by it. Um, I always remember gross and net this way. Gross is a bad word. It wouldn't be nice for me to call you gross. It wouldn't be nice for you to call me gross. It's a negative word. So I remember it as gross being negative because that's not the money you get to keep. Gross, bad, negative, not a good word. Uh, bad pay, bad money, bad paycheck because that's not the money you get to keep. So it's gross. Oh, that stinks. It's not fair. You get to keep net pay. Um, so again, gross versus net. Gross will always be larger than net pay because it's before the government's taken out their taxes. Net will always be smaller than gross pay because it's the money you get to keep after taxes are taken out. It's your take-home pay.